talking about something that seems impossible. How can people find immediate happiness if they just lost their job, they've been home for a month and or they're going through this other dark period? You've shared a little bit. What else, what else can we be focusing on? Well, the, the second part of the formula is gratitude. You know, be grateful for what you have. So if you all look at your hands, when was the last time you thanked them? Probably never. What have they done for you? Everything. So instead of focusing on what you've lost, focus on what you have left, what you have. So in 2008, I had to tell the news to my wife. I said, honey, we've lost everything. And she looked up at me and uh, she had these big brown eyes and she had a big smile on her face. And I said, honey, I don't understand why you're smiling. She said, honey, I knew something was wrong. I thought you were dying. I thought you had cancer. That's why she was happy because she was focusing on me. She just wanted me. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that's a good yeah. one. And that's so funny. It's so interesting. I'm seeing a recurring theme. So it's focusing on what you do have. So in my darkest period, I literally would force myself and I had an accountability partner that would make me go up and, and write down on the whiteboard what is working what do we have and and one you know the recurring theme the top recurring theme it was it was interesting it wasn't my hands it was i have legs i i have legs and for that i am grateful my mom loves me it's pretty outside today yeah. i i didn't get in a car on my way to work like whatever it was i would just write down whatever was working because had it been different i would have been more upset and so it's interesting, like when you turn on these filters, give yourself different filters to look at the world in, then you're going to find different things. And that's really the purpose of this interview or, or any of this force anything. It's how can we help people find what is working? How can we expand that by focusing on it? How can we help people be a force for good and find the opportunity because it never goes away. It only switches places. So where is it now? What can we do to adapt to that now? And turn yeah. your brain on that direction. So I love that. It's really very powerful and a, and a practical exercise, uh, two exercises. One is to write down 50 things. <laughs> you're <Love grateful>. you. <laughs> uh, 50 things you're grateful for. And then as you write them down, notice how you feel. The second exercise is write down 20 accomplishments that you've achieved in your life. You know, uh, simply being born is an accomplishment. Okay. Walking, talking, graduating, friendships, they're all accomplishments. Write them down and notice how you feel. You will be very surprised. When I said 20, you may think, oh my gosh, that's a lot. It's not okay. a lot. And you will easily do more than 20. And then the, the, the secret is what you focus on is what you get. So I was a little bit upset today. I said, Anil, why are you upset? And I, I realized I was stacking all the negative things. Mm. I'm really good at that at times, but I, I, I was <laughs> able to see that and change it. So mm. whenever you're feeling sad or upset, go back to these accomplishments, go back to these gratitudes and then stack them up. And all of a sudden, everything gets better. It's like if you go uh, in, into a house and it's really dark, you don't go and remove the darkness you flick the switch. So when you focus on your gratitude and accomplishments and you start giving, you're flicking the switch. So the bad stuff, the darkness will disappear on its own.